Hi everyone, it's the 20th of September. ES touched that red top band and stalled there. And it's a marginal new all time high. And it's inside this golden uptrend. Um, if it breaks out, um, as I said a few times, um, that our target is going to be that blue top band, which is going to be around 6,000. Uh, just just under 6,000 if that blue top band is our target and I think it is But first we need to clear this red resistance for good. Okay, SPX cash Same story that red top band which was a potential resistance now it became a proper resistance It's just a parallel line to this resistance. So it's not really a channel, but it's kind of hard to be <laughs> educational on this one it's kind of how to explain it. Uh, it's just uh, something that that is visual, mostly that I I have seen this before. That is happening. That the previous internal resistance becomes the resistance of the top end as well. That can be the only explanation I can find. It's hard to put it inside a rule, but I've seen this happening all the time. So that's why I was holding it there. And that actually has become that resistance. Now, if this golden uptrend is holding and its bottom band gets tested today, we climb and we break that red resistance and get to 5,800 plus. That's the minimum target. And of course, that blue top band, which I explained in the ES, ES part. Now we have the Dow Jones um, continuous futures and it's approaching that red top band. You can see here that red top band is as actually, if you look at it this way, first, second, third, fourth, this here is the fifth touch. And I think it is trying to break it. This is a major resistance that is breaking to the upside or is it? So it's really hard to say whether it's breaking or not, because you can see the previous one is here. The next one is there. It's, it's still within the error margin of that line. Okay. I can't say for sure that it has broken, but within the next day or two, we will find out whether it breaks or not. I think if it can take out the the, the high of yesterday, we will uh, that would be 42,200. Then we're gonna get to 43,000, that blue top band, which is the ultimate target that I've been calling for re literally about the last two years, or maybe this year and the rally, well, last year or so, that I've been calling that blue top and as the ultimate target. And that, you know, when it when we get there, if we get there, we have to be very careful with this bull market. Now, the NASDAQ had broken this blue resistance, right? That internal one, that was very, very important. That's that what caused the sell-off, that we couldn't break that. And we actually broke down this channel to the downside. Remember, I removed it because that job is, that that mission is accomplished. Um, and this blue resistance is broken together with the purple top band. We may come down for a back test on the purple or the lowest level should be the blue. And then we get to that blue top band and break it. That blue top band, okay, it was very close. We may argue that it has been tested. Hard to say where that is really, I mean, it, it was only a few points short of that blue top band, okay? And I think if we can break that blue top band, we get to the new all-time high, just like the others. And the NASDAQ, the NDX, the cash uh, NASDAQ is also the same. The, the purple, the blue, that, that double resistance break. We may come down for a back test. It is now testing the golden internal support right there. First, second, third, fourth. We broke it. We make Come, we may even bounce off this level and get to the blue top band from here, or we come down to the purple and blue, which is going to be around 19,675 ish. And then from there, maybe we touch that blue top band properly, and then maybe even take it out and get to uh, a new all time high right there. Russell is very interesting and it may be signaling a very bearish turn, and I will explain it now. Uh, bear with me. Uh, there are quite a few lines. Remember the black channels breakout that basically catapulted it um, all the way to 2300 from 
less than 200. So that was a 10% rally, okay? And I'm gonna remove that black one. That is already done. And then we broke that blue resistance, back tested it and rallied again. So that also is very bullish, was very bullish. Now, what we have here is, this is the low of August. This is the low of September. This is the high of August, end of August. We just touched it. So this could become a really big bear flag, which means we really have to break it to the upside as soon as possible if this market wants to continue towards 2375 and even take out that golden resistance, which already has three touches. So the green top band has to be broken as soon as possible. Maybe we'll touch the red bottom band and then rally inside the red potential uptrend. This is where it started. So I would love to see a touch on the red bottom band and then rally to break that green top. And that, that way we can be sure this green top band is now certainly broken. A rising resistance is broken to the upside. That would be good. FTSE, not much to say. I'm just going to skip it. DAX is interesting here because the, the blue resistance yesterday was broken with a marginal new all-time high. It basically tried to penetrate back into the golden broken channel, okay? And I think that this has more legs and it, has, it will have more legs because it just made a new all-time high after breaking the downtrend, excuse me, this uptrend. Um, and the other high is, so this is the thing. This is an uptrend and the highest point was here. The fact that it made a new high above the high of the broken trend, which it means that we have another trend happening. So I will throw in two things, two things. So one is this golden bottom band may hold and we rally to 20,000 off it if we bounce off it. Or you can see the purple channel is broken, which held before FOMC, we rallied to a new high, and now it's broken, okay? So this is obviously short-term bearish. It's either that golden bottom band that will become our support. Um, this is an only a guess, okay? We will have to prove it, or we will have to see the proof of it with price action. That's the only way to, to say the support has held. Now, this green bottom band. So the, you can see the top band is here. The, go, the purple channel is broken, but there is another channel possibility, which has two touches on the green top band. And the first touch is the same as the purple one. So we will come down here on the green bottom band and then maybe rally to break that blue resistance for good. So again, educational here, the purple channel is broken, but the green one may hold, or ultimately that golden one may hold uh, to start the next leg up, okay? So obviously, if this green and golden, they both are ignored and we break them all, then we would be looking into another big dive. So just gotta be careful there, okay? Um, this is the French index. Yesterday, it pushed and broke that red top band, which I explained in the video. This is a failure of the, uh, of the follow through. This is obviously disappointing. And it may want to really fill the gap eventually, okay, and come down all the way to the red bottom bands. But there is also another gap here. So CAC is not really famous with the gap fills, uh, looks like. So I think it looks very bullish, yes. and But it, of course, has to get to the black top band and smash it to the upside. Um, hard to say where we go from here, really, exactly, like, is it going to come down to, uh, let me put this, maybe we have a support here, right? It's actually nice, nice support from the lows of August that I haven't seen very clearly. Actually, this looks amazing. Four touches, first, second, third, and fourth. And if we break that blue support, it's going to, of course, become, it would become bearish. But is it going to now it's come down to for a back this of this kind of a sloppy resistance, right? That was broken and it's kind of back testing it right here. 
I'm still, um, yeah, the fact that the purple downtrend or the bull flag is broken, long term, it looks bullish to me. TLT is pulling back a little bit, but I think the ultimate target is going to be that 100, 500, 6. So let's have another go at it where this trend, right, uh, has started there. This leg of the trend, which is the low of May, end of April, we broke out of the golden. So this one is going to be the black one okay another color entirely different so every color is a different formation okay the blue one is not possibly the blue one is different so i'm going to put this one in green okay so right the green one the golden one the red one the red top band is obviously the ultimate target for tlt um which may turn into a large bear flag of course but first we have to get there and we, the way we get there may be that black channel. That's a potential channel. This here is the 10 year treasury note, uh, the ZN, and it's gonna test that blue top band. I think if we bounce off the golden, test the blue top band, and it may come down really big. So gotta be careful there. This here is US oil. It's off the golden support. It's now testing that red top band. Almost got, almost there, it's almost there. So if it touches that red top and I think there is going to be uh, another downwards move if it if it holds. So I'm I just switched to the four hour chart. <coughs> Excuse me. Oi. Um, so this here is the red potential downtrend. I think it is a downtrend because, you know, the top band is quite clear. The bottom band is quite clear. Right. It's this red downtrend. That is that is our. That is our guidance at the moment, and we may see another reversal for it to come down and touch that golden support once again. Okay, so this red channel is first, second, third, and the bottom band. So this year is a downtrend, right? Do we have a little uptrend from the lows of uh, September? Maybe we do. So it remains to be seen, of course, uh, and if it touches the I'm going to put this in green color, right? This here is, again, a little bit of education here. This could become a bear flag. So if it comes down to the green bottom band, we bounce it, and then the red top band gets tested and we break it down, then, yes, one more, one more sell-off. Similarly, on Brent oil, it is still back testing this blue broken resistance, excuse me, support which is a resistance now. It's inside the purple downtrend. It may be forming the red bear flag, or it may form it if it touches the red bottom and bounces and then comes down. So I don't think gold is or oil is out of the woods yet. Now gold spot chart just tested the red, uh, sorry, blue top band. Is it going to reverse that or is it going to completely ignore it? Uh, we will, I mean, I can see that the the green top band on the continuous futures so far continuous futures has been uh, more precise than the spot chart you can see the green top band is now broken which suggests that we will get to 2700 from here yeah and uh, if we get uh, uh, apologies that green top band is a potential target and the potential resistance together with the red so it will take time and if it this here is this double resistance point, obviously, and it is a target, and it is going to be on the 28th of September. It's not that far, actually. Can it rally? No, I don't think so. Uh, it's the 28th of September. You can see the date on the X on the on the time axis. And uh, can it rally? 130. Hundred thirty dollars in, well, uh, what seven days, eight days? Um, I doubt it. <laughs> we'll see. It's a big, big uh, ask from gold, but maybe. Yeah, we don't know. Um, this year is silver. It's silver is coming closer to that blue top, and I think if we break that, this is the spot chart. If spot breaks thirty one fifty, thirty one fifty five. 
it is going to break out properly. And then we will see the touch on the 33, which is the highs of May, right? I'm going to now again, put some rectangles here, just like I did on the spot chart. Uh, sorry, on the futures chart. This is the futures continuous, that, that golden resistance, right? And the golden, so it's that blue top band that needs to be taken out. And if it does, the blue bear flag would be broken to the upside, which would of course be extremely bullish. Platinum is recovering a little bit and it is now come back to that purple top band. Is it gonna break? And uh, on the purple top band, it's the goal, uh, it's the continuous futures that is gonna touch that purple top band. Maybe it will reverse again. So the purple top band of the spot and the purple top band of the continuous futures uh, are quite different. So which one is telling the truth? We'll see, okay? This is the continuous futures and the purple top band is at 1,015 on the current contract. Nat gas bounced off the red bottom and obviously slightly damaging it, but it managed to bounce off it. I can argue that this, um, right, do we have something else here? Maybe this here is our target. So the, the top band is a little bit sloppy, yes. But I think the October contract was much more um, precise about the blue support right there. The blue top band came down, it tested the blue bottom band and it's now rallying. I think our target is still that red top band. And that's gonna be around 2475, 2480. Um, this year is copper and copper is coming closer to that golden top band once again i think it may break it and the purple top band is a potential resistance clearly if it gets to the purple top band and smashes through that needs to be happening that has to happen for the bear flag to be um, completely invalidated or a potential bear flag to be invalidated so if copper goes beyond 440 445 that is going to open the way for 500 I think we're going to get to 500. This year is, a, is an amazing setup for copper, but it has to prove us that that's going to happen. Euro is out of the red bull flag, right? Spot, uh, very volatile, but it still managed to break out properly. Now, the golden channel is, of course, our guidance, and the golden top band is the type for the third touch. Pound sterling is looking better because of the golden resistance break. It's already making highs, multi year highs i think yeah isn't it yeah this is a high of 2023 it's already above it and uh you know it wasn't it's no surprise for us because of that golden resistance break that is a high of 2008 and we broke it and uh, even back tested it now it's this i don't see an uptrend just yet uh, this green top band obviously it has to be broken. You can see the green top band, first, second, third, and fourth. If we break that green top band, there is nothing on its way, I think, that's, that is gonna hold us uh, until it gets to that red top band at 145. That's the, the ultimate target. That red top band is the ultimate target around 145, which is the highs of Brexit. US dollar, Japanese yen didn't stop at the golden top band so this is a moment of like a little bit tongue in the cheek where is it headed the red channel is a little bull flag potential but it's not really stopping at the golden top band where do we go from here so i'm going to look into one more thing right it is because you we just put in a low there and we have two lows and it may turn into like if it gets to that red top band, it's a long shot um, because it also has that gold purple support that has been broken. I think we're gonna get a back test on it. There is serious resistance here, you can see. So maybe we get to that purple inside the red channel, purple broken support and then come down and that would be around 146 to see another reversal by US dollar Japanese yen. DXY is breaking, trying to break that green bottom band. So far, it's not really, it's not very clean because of the FOMC volatility, 
yeah, that's not very clean, right? But I think ultimately we'll clean it, clear it, and uh, we're going to come down to that 99.50 level. Aussie dollar is trying, really trying to break that blue resistance as well. The red top band is kind of broken, but it really has to break that blue top band for good to um, at least get to that green top band, that green uh, potential resistance at around 70, just over 70. Uh, and uh, the, uh, KV is also, you know, ultimately targeting that 63.75. Um, now let's have a look at coffee. Coffee hasn't gone to that 273, 274 yet, but I think as long as we stay inside the black uptrend, there is a good chance that we're going to test that blue top band, right? Um, maybe I'm a little bit too, I'm a little bit too pedantic with these lines or maybe too precise because that blue top band has been tested. If I get this one right, this slope, it has already been tested. It's, yeah, I would say, just a second, please. No. I'm going to remove that. Yeah, we'll put one more line there. Yeah, I think so. Hard to say. Yeah, but I think it has been tested already. So we will have to break that blue top band. Okay, to start uh, another big rally. This year is the purple resistance that has been broken. And uh, about coffee, the new members, for the new members, I'm going to show you something. Uh, KC. This is the coffee futures. Yeah. Continuous futures. And this is the weekly chart. Actually, it's uh, it's a multi-decade chart. I'm going to show you. The red bull flag is broken. Yeah. This year is a broken bull flag. The red one. Uh, this is the high of 2010. But more importantly, the green resistance, which is at 288. If we can break that green top band then the sky is the limit. I think coffee is going to start the biggest run uh, of any of the commodities. Maybe not the biggest because cocoa, my cocoa call was phenomenal. I think from last year, you may remember at 2300 when we got to 12,000. So that's something different. But um, we are again, coffee, I think is getting ready for a major, major run. Okay, now we have, uh, let's have a look at wheat. Um, this year is the downtrend, continuous futures, and the December contract. You can see the golden downtrend was broken. And is it going to now? I'm going to show you that without confusing you with these internals. Okay. This purple wedge may hold. We come down to the green and blue double support and then start to rally. And as I said, I think yesterday I said it's gonna it's gonna be around 561, right? If it touches the 561, touch the green bottom band, and without breaking the purple and blue supports, of course, that's kind of a triple support zone, 561, and then rally to 625. Soybeans is trying to break that blue resistance. So far, not so impressive. And I think uh, this November contract is going to tell us the truth. It already had broken the blue, back tested it. It's going sideways, but it has broken out of the purple bull flag and even back tested it. It's off the green support and it may be forming this green resistance here. So if it touches the green, it has already? No. So three touches. Third touch, pull back, and then a break to the upside. That will be a triangle breakout. Of course, it has to stay above that green support, right? So this green support is extremely important with, with so many touches on it. So I'm going to remove this one. Yeah. So this green, it's a kind of a triangle, but we we have to break it to the upside first to call it a triangle breakout. And I can also see that there is a kind of a level resistance, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, right? This level, this blue, so the green, anything above uh, 1,022, 1,023 definitely would be a, certainly a, a nice breakout because then I think we'll, we're going to target 1,045, yeah? 
this year is corn and it's inside the green downtrend and the corn December contract. Uh, as I warned you yesterday, this blue resistance is holding the red bottom band may break that would actually cut, start the next leg down. So that came out to be through, uh, turned out to be through. And we are going to maybe, just maybe, it wants to come down to the golden bottom band right there to form a bull flag, right? Okay. So that remains to be seen, um, right? That golden bottom band touched his touch the lows of this spike and then maybe rally okay now cocoa december contract is trying to break this golden resistance rail line I mean, we may come down once again if it reverses and then rally sugar has already taken out the red top band on the continuous futures right that red top band is broken clearly it's not at 21.95 sometimes my my platform does this. Okay, it's at 22.52. Yeah, the red top band is gone. So I thought maybe it's going to hold, but it didn't. So this here is obviously a bullish breakout. On the October contract, right, the blue top band is holding, right? So that blue top band, so on the October contract, this year is a potential bull flag in the making. So we may come down a little bit and then a break to the upside. So Obviously, this has been a massive rally after the break of the green resistance rail, right? It may come down and then a break to the upside. So has been quite a nice rally so far. And as I said on the um, on the continuous futures, I think we're going to get to that golden top band at 28 and smash it. Okay. And that would, of course, that is going to become a giant bull flag breakout. This year is a giant bull flag, right? This is the top band touch at 28. I called short there. We came down, right? The golden bottom band, the golden top band. We came down and then now it's trying. I think it will get to that golden top band. Maybe pull back once again and then rally big time. And last one is cotton. It is now at that green resistance today. Right, we may break it to the upside and cotton is gonna rally. I'm not touching cotton really because it's, I don't like that contract, honestly. Anyway, but you may want to buy um, an ETF that would work. So let's have a look at Bitcoin. Um, it's not surprising that we are rallying, not at all, because I told you that the, that red resistance break is gonna be really important and we broke it. The green internal resistance is broken. That is also important, very important. So now we're going to get to that 68,000, I think, and smash it. That is going to become a massive, a massive breakout. That would become a massive breakout because it's this one, that arc that has been holding at every high. So this would change the game. Because if this arc breaks without coming down, without, you know, it could really come down hard if it can't break that arc. So there is that, there is that possibility too. So we have to watch the price, okay? There is really that possibility too that we uh, touch that arc once again and then sell off. Um, Ethereum is running, obviously, because of that purple resistance break and the blue or the green, so just a second, bear with me. I had removed it. Yeah, this blue top band, right, is now breaking, which it means it's not a bear flag. It's not becoming a bear flag, right? It has already damaged the top band, blue top band. So, yeah, it is a damage. So can it still reverse? Maybe there is a, but I don't think it will. I think we're going to get to that red resistance once again. And possibly if it goes through, if we go through beyond, if we go be, uh, above 2670, 2700, if we go 2700, we're going to get to 2800. And then we're going to see whether that golden top band holds. Okay, that's going to be a very critical test. So we may see a massive reversal at that golden top band by Ethereum. 
but first we need to get there and then reverse. So uh, there is that. BNB, the Binance coin, has to break that blue top band. This initial failure was very disappointing. Remember, the green bull flag, the golden one, is all broken, and we have this giant red uptrend that is still running the show. So, yeah, Solana is up five percent. Um, and uh, I thought maybe it wants to come down to the purple and golden, but it, you know, it didn't come to 108. I wish it did. That would have been a double support bounce, a big one, but it didn't come. Is it going to come? I don't know. Is it going to come to test that purple bottom band? Very hard to say. Very hard. I don't, I don't have a feeling for that. If it does, yes. And then we bounce, yes. But um, there is no rule that says it's going to. It's going to come and test that support. And we also have maybe a small breakout here. Either way, I think the golden bull flag has formed and it wants to break. Monero. Yeah, Monero is really very close to a major breakout, right? This green, anything about 185, 190 is going to do it, really. This is a sideways channel from... Well, since, well, since 2000, October, like one year sideways channel, ready to be broken. Ripple, got blue resistance is broken by Ripple. Fetch AI uh, had broken out of the golden bull flag. It's inside the red uptrend and it's that blue resistance that is broken. So I gave you the breakout and I gave you the blue resistance. So that's, that's really like today it's up 8%. Data is now going to break that golden top band, I think. So altcoins, you know, I've been bearish on everything since since uh, springtime. So that must have saved you a lot of money. But I think we are ready for a rally big time on the altcoins. And uh, everything is pointing to uh, some buyers coming in. OM looking okay. Dash is now forcing that red line. So we may see one more dive, right? And then a break to the upside by blue and red. That could actually become a really major rally by Dash. Uh, but it's very, very speculative, okay? So this here is a very speculative one. It, it showed no relative strength over the last couple of months. So um, just, yeah, just got to be careful there. Don't bet the house on it. Uh, the green bull flag on by Dogecoin, we may still come down to the golden bottom man and rally. Uh, but if it breaks the green top band, it's already in the rally mode. Phantom, obviously the breakout of the blue and purple, looking bullish. Cass has to break that green top band for good. This is the failure, but it may still do the job. Pal is getting closer to, oh, look at that. Pal is ready. Pal is ready to smash things now because first, second, third, fourth, fifth touch. And if it can break out, Pal is going to get to at least 85 cents. We are at 21 cents. I think the bull flag is ready. And uh, Pepe is off the purple support. It may get to the green top and then break out. Jasmine is uh, okay. And it has to break that uh, blue top band for a breakout rally. So watch Jasmine for it. IOTA, I just saw IOTA today. So this is, a, again, a very speculative one. A lot of people are looking into this, I think. And it looks good because you can see this here is a giant wedge. First, second, this is the high of uh, March. This is where most altcoins stopped. And they, I mean, from 30, I mean, 40 cents, it came down to 10 cents. That like 75% down. But of course, if that blue top and holes, we come down and then a break to the upside and break that wedge, that is going to look extremely bullish. We may get to $2 once again. So IOTA, okay. Tia is testing that red top band. So Tia is making move. It's tested that red top band. It hasn't broken first, second, third. This becomes a much stronger resistance. Of course, once it's broken, it becomes a much 
stronger move as well. Ave is forcing that red top band. That is a bull flag. And if it breaks out, I think it's going to be unstoppable. Ave is ready to smash things. And that blue top band, the golden one, they're all going to be broken um, very, very easily. I think anything above, above, above 165 is going to turn things very bullish on Ave. Uh, Venry inside the blue downtrend. Uh, not breakout, Zcash slightly up. Uh, ACH is now breaking out of this wedge, right? It looks bullish. And anything above the green resistance would also look much more bullish, clearly. Ada Cardano is looking not too, not too good, really. Audio coin. So I'm looking at all the, all the altcoins, okay? Audio may break out of this red that bull flag. This is a giant bull flag. And if audio can break, you can see the blue, blue. So this is a bull flag as well. So if it breaks the red, gets to the blue top band and breaks it, that's going to open the way for a massive rally. Uh, Avax has broken the red resistance. Yeah, slightly bullish. Yes. Um, Chili's. Not my cup of tea. It's this green, but it it has. <coughs> Excuse me, something is up. Uh, I'm sneezing. Hope hope I'm not getting anything serious. Well, if you look at uh, the purple support by Chili's, that has held. We may get to the green top and then break out. CKB, yeah, this here uh, is of course. I mean, the green bull flag didn't really form. I'm going to remove that, but the back test on the green, yeah, that looked very bullish and yeah, it's, it looked very bearish, but of course this support didn't hold and then the green one held. So, uh, Koti, 14% up and it's off the green support three times. This may be one of those red bull flag breakouts, right? That's a giant breakout maybe coming our way. GRT, not one of my favorites, Hive is out of the red downtrend, which I showed two days ago. Now this year, a few days ago, I think, now this year is going to rally to that purple. So I think it's at 19, and I think the target is a minimum of 30 cents, right? Hive is looking not too bad. Uh, chain link, yeah, not, not really a very uh, convincing formation. Uh, Litecoin trying to break back into the uh, blue bear flag. RSR, right. Let's have a look at RSR. Yeah, it's out of the red resistance. I may argue it's that red bottom band that is going to, that red top band, if I want to be very precise, maybe pull back and then a break to the upside. Sandbox, not much to say here. Shiba. It has broken the golden resistance, which suggests that we're going to get to the blue top band, maybe pull back and then a break. Theta, not much to say. Ton coin, well, not, I don't see much really, but it's bounced off this support zone, clearly. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you the rectangle support zone right there. Yeah, three or four touches on that. Yeah, that's that. And uh, Uni. I think there is something here that golden support held. Maybe it's ready to run again. And uh, Tezos is maybe touches the purple, pull back one more time, and then a break to the upside. All right, guys, I hope it helps. It's a 40 minute video because of the altcoins, but yeah, it was time. All right, take care, guys. Bye.